I'm going to work on the trees first, and then I'm going to come in and do the sky, because once I do the sky, I kind of have to go around these trees. And I did that intentionally because I want little bits of the blue and the orange to show through, but I'll have to go quickly because I want the gradient in the sky. So I want to get the trees established first and just and then base the sky off of the trees. So I'm going to take, let's see, take ultramarine and white, a lot of white. So I wiped off my brush, I got the excess water out, and I'm just going to come in and very gently do suggestions. I'm going to have, as we get going on this, you'll notice not all of the trunks will line up perfectly. It's okay. We're keeping it loose. So like I said, keeping it loose, keep it loose, keep it loose. Don't get too uptight about this. And look at how we put the trees in and we let the trees determine what we were gonna do for the background. I'm now able to make decisions on the background to see if it works best with, for the trees. You know, I can make sure that this is lighter enough than the trees, that it really makes the trees pop. Whereas if I had already put the background in, I would have to make all the decisions based on the background. But the trees are what I wanted our attention to go to, so I did that first. I get that question a lot as to why I don't do the background first, and I, it's because it's not the most important thing.